Okay, so we're going to run through how to do our block one that we made in class. So we're going to do a quick tutorial here. So I'm going to click on part, and I'm going to click on start 2D sketch, and then I need to decide what plane do I want to draw this first sketch on, XY, YZ, or XZ. And I always typically want to start on XY, so just click on XY, and then we need to pick our we're going to create with line, circle, arc, rectangle. We want rectangle. Bring it over to the center. We tilt and turn screen. Click and drag. Let go of the mouse. And we're going to type in our dimension here, which is going to be 2 inches. So just type 2. And then don't click anything. Just hit tab and hit 2 again. And then we can enter and that will set our dimensions. Now it's a little bit bigger than it's out of the actually out of this view of the screen. So we want to see the whole thing. We can click on front view up in the upper right hand corner here, and that will bring everything into view. Okay, so once we've got that, go ahead and click on finish sketch. And now we want to extrude this two inches. Now, again, we can't see this very well, so I'm going to click on home, and that will bring everything into view. So I'm going to just go here. I can do that here, or I can do it up here, and this is kind of a drop down folder here and we can just drop this down and we can enter, enter that information here or you've got this here once we just kind of roll our mouse over it this opens up but for what we need to do right now we're just going to type in 2 and hit enter and then we've got our block here that is 1 2 by 2 by 2 so now we want to put a hole through this so we need to try draw a new 2D sketch and we're going to draw on the front of this against the right side top front. So we pick this side and we can click on front and that will center what we need. And then I'm going to draw my circle and I'm going to draw it center of this square. So if I just drag, I'm not clicking, I'm not doing anything, just drag this down. You can see it goes from yellow to green. And if I drag that green out, if I drag that green, I'll get these marching ants. And actually if I go to the center, you can see they actually meet up I thought that at one time you had to actually drag across the bottom too and find the green and drag it up, but it looks like you just need to go on one, just pick with, pick a side and drag to the center and eventually they'll meet up right here. So here's my center of my square. I'm just going to drag that out. And it's not one inch. So all we have to do is type one, hit enter, and then we've got our circle. So it's kind of going goofy on me here. So bring it back and finish sketch because I've finished my drawing here. Now I want to extrude this through the center of this block. So I'm going to click on extrude and I'm going the wrong direction. So I can go here and I'm going to go through all. So I got a couple tr I got five choices here. And I'm going to go through all and that will take it all the way through. Now it shows it but it's not done yet. I have to actually either click hit enter or I can hit the green check mark here that will finalize what it wants what I want. So now if I rotate this, just grab my cube here at the top, I can see it goes all the way through my cube. Alright, so let's bring this back to home. And I'm going to start another 2D sketch, draw on top of my cube here. Now I'm going to add my one inch box. So let me click on top here and bring it so it's centered. And click on rectangle. And I'm just going to draw it. Doesn't need to be the right dimension. That's fine. I'm going to type in one inch and tab by one inch and then once I've got that I hit enter and then after that to center this or get it in position I'm going to use the dimension tool right here so I click on dimension and I'm just going to click on just pick one it doesn't matter where you start with pick a, pick a, pick a side I'm going to start with the side I'm going to go over to here the outside of my cube click on this I'm going to drag this down you can see my dimension is 0.374 and I actually want to make that 0.5 so half an inch five and hit enter. Now you can see I just moved my square over half an inch. So I'm going to do the same thing. Again, it doesn't matter if you use the top or the bottom. We'll go with the top. Click on the square here. Click on the outside here. It'll change color to white. And I'm going to drag this over. And oh, it didn't do it. So let me cancel this and try this again. Click here. Click here. There we go. And now I'm going to type in 0.5 again. And now we're centered.
Uh, you don't have to measure again, and even if I do, let's just see what happens. If I measure from here to here, drag that over, it actually says it's 0.5, but it won't let me do it because I'm already constrained on one side. It will only let me measure off one side, and that's okay. So we're going to hit cancel. So now we've got our square on top. We're going to click finish sketch, and now we want to extrude this up a quarter of an inch. So we're going to come up to extrude, and we need to know where we want to extrude. You can see it kind of lights up a little bit for us here. It changes color. So I'm going to click on this. That's way too much. Extruded it two inches. I don't want two inches. Let's just look at this. And all I want to do is just change my my number here to 0.25. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and make sure once you got this, you save it to the right location. It should be in your drive on your computer, or if you've got a location where you save everything too, go ahead and save it. But there's our cube.